How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Shining Force. So now, we got one more measure of business to deal with before we leave this town. I'm helping Kokichi to figure out how to fly. not seem to be triggering. Weird. Koichi never listens to me when he's doing research. This isn't triggering. That's weird. Well, let's try talking to everybody else in town. Want revenge? Please, can I join the Shining Force? Sure! Wait! I must protect Boostoke. I'll join you some other time. My father is back and he wants to talk to you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be back with my daughter. He's home! My daddy's home! I'm so happy! Thank you for saving our men. Be sure to buy everything you need before you leave town. Already have. Good, Xylo was saved. It's all because of my medicine. Look at this enormous home. My husband finished it. All's well now, and we owe it all to you, Josh. You even saved Xylo. How can we ever thank you enough? We'll be fine here, even without Xylo. So Xylo is saved when he's going with you? We're going to miss him. Ah, the dude climbing up made it. Hi, I'm Boken. I finally climbed up this mountain. Where am I? The Runefaust army now has a strange device, a weapon of the ancients. Now let's see if this will trigger. I think I've talked to everybody. What are you doing? Don't touch anything, you meddler! New in town, eh? Go out back and I'll show you my latest invention. That was it. I just had to search the engine. Watch carefully. Here I go! Good luck, Kokichi! Well, it didn't work this time either. It mostly worked. Another failure. I'm starting to think Kokichi should just give up. It always looks good at first, then something goes wrong. It never fails. Okay, it's time. I also want to do something here. We've been sitting on this defense potion for a while. And I think we're going to give that to Vex for some survivability. Gives him an extra point of defense. Before I go down there, do we already have... 
Game is in. Okay. Now for one of the more interesting battles of the game. Traitor! You've betrayed Lord Kane. I owe no allegiance to you or him, foul fiend that he is. You are only a mercenary. You do what we pay you to do. Here, I return your gold. I shall no longer follow your orders, Toad. If you are not with us, then you are against us. I will have the pleasure of killing you myself. Vile fiend! <laughs> Thus fall all who dare to oppose the will of Dark Souls. Warm-up sequence initiated. Ten seconds. Nine. Okay, part of the challenge of this battle is we have to take a somewhat small strike team to deal with a medium-sized enemy force. Obviously, we want Vex near the forefront to gain some experience, because we want to try to get him to level 10. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to pop the mic again. In fact, if Vex goes down, I'm going to be tempted to regress and restart the battle. Eight. Seven. I think I know who I'm going to send for my strike team, but I haven't 100% decided. Let's see here. Get Vex out front. There we go. Bodox, smack him. Drives his axe in for 10 points of damage. Jameis attack. He deals 9. Perfect. Now Diane can kill it easily. I mean, Vex. I'm so used to referring to these characters by their default names. Six, five, targeting activated. No, May's not going to the first wave. Finish it, Vex. Vex's arrow mines its mark for 9 damage and a kill. No 
level up just yet. The next shot should do it. Oh, we got a Pegasus Knight that decided it wants to play. Thinking we'll round out the five-man strike team with Jendel and Sick. Should be a good team. <clears throat> a couple who need experience, a couple are two healers, and then another good damage dealer. But this should make Vex to level 8. Vex misses new! Javelin and misses. That time he strikes home for four. I hate flying enemies. They're so hard to hit anything. Sigmar? It's not your small Sigmar. It's the fact that it's a fly. specialize in hitting flyers, so yeah. That thing should be oh so very dead right now. I 
Thank you, Sigmar. Five damage. And Sigmar makes level two. Two points of attack, point of defense, point of speed, two points of HP, and two points of MP. Awesome level for Sigmar. And here it goes. So yeah, you can imagine what would have happened if any of us were in the line of fire. Come on, Josh, do two damage. Really? That thing's critting like crazy. Oh crap, that might be game. Yep. Wow. There are no words. That was just ridiculous. That was absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and get in position here. And then we're probably gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up. Because we've been going for a decent bit of time here. We'll go through the laser eyes first firing. Kinda of gobsmacked. Luke takes nine. Josh attacks. Four damage. This is ridiculous. He's been using the same weapon since the start of the game. No wonder he's not doing any damage. I don't want Vex to kill this thing right now. Just to hit and level him. Why waste more experience than I have to? If I remember right, oh boy, a hit point. That 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 was a great level. If I remember right, yeah, it reset it set you to zero, so getting a. getting a uh, 
full 48 there would have more or less been counterproductive. Healers are hitting for more than my main character. hit things this turn? That's impossible. We don't get anything. Fatu hits for four? Twice in a row. That's a miracle. These Fatu about one attack away from level. Like, I want to have Josh attack, but he'll only hit for one anyway. And I know on my luck, that thing will double attack and one-shot him. We'll let him smack Ken again, and we'll finish him off with Vex. Sorry, Sigmar, but I want to work hard on getting Vex to level 10 so we can promote him in this battle. We should be able to have Mafatu attack for his level up. I think he'll get 8 out of 4 damage. 10, yep, just enough. Level 2, good, he got an HP. I would have preferred him to get 3 or 4, but 
Okay, Vex, kill this thing. Of course! Of course. Sorry, my commentary has gotten a little flat, but I'm aggravated. Because that last time was just ridiculous. And of course, we can't hit anything, you know, that would be useful. And watch, now he's going to somehow one-shot signal. Nope, six damage. That's livable. Come on, Vex. There. And fire. Well, folks, this blast, it's about time to wrap this one up. We've been going a little too long here. How was that one hurt already? Nothing should have died from this shot. That's really weird. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you may have in the comments below, as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time as we finish this battle in Let's Play Shining Force. Farewell.